I've just finished putting color five in and I bound off because it is quite long. I was gonna measure, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but I had my husband hold one end and I held the other and it's definitely almost as tall as me um, and I'm 5'7". So this is plenty big for a throw. I think if I added another color in, um, like my original plan to get to six, I think it would just, that would add like a whole nother foot, um, 10 inches or so. So I think I'm calling it and I am going to weave in the massive amount of ends that I have here on the back and uh, start the next column. Yay! So fun. That moment when you realize you knit the entire first column wrong. So there are definitely directions for a odd column and an even column depending on where you increase and decrease for the sides. I did not read close enough and I ended up knitting a even column for my column one. Um, so this was supposed to be here and then this is supposed to be here. So I've been fiddling around with it trying to figure out how I wanted to approach this and I just connected it here so instead of being a point on this end where I'm starting where I'm knitting from it'll end with a point on the far end and we'll start with the little chevron -y doodle here if that makes any sense um, you can see here I knit a few rows before I joined them just because I was trying to wrap my brain around which way these were going. Um, but just, just a heads up, it's very important to read the directions even if you think you know what you're doing because chances are you don't. Ah, I caramba. I got another little candy from Julia Sweet Sparrow Yarns. I love these things, they're so good. Um, they're like chewy, kind of liquidy on the inside. I love those, I'm gonna have to find out where she got those. And then today's yarn is Marshmallow World on her Gosling base. And the Gosling base is a two-ply superwash merino cashmere nylon. And it's so squishy and so beautiful. And I love this color. Look how pretty that is. And then day 19 of Cat Sandwich Fibers is this gorgeous blue and brown with speckles of some reds in there and yellows. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. And then day 19 of the Wolfine Advent is some Corydale in this gorgeous emerald green color. So pretty, so much depth. Ugh, yay. More gorgeous Advents. Happy day 19, it is Thursday, December 19th, 
and here we are. Um, I'm heading into the office just a bit late today because my son has finals and uh, he's in high school. So today and tomorrow will be a day of finals. So he only has to go for a few hours, which is lucky for him. Um, so I'm gonna sit down and get probably a little bit of knitting done. Um, I was thinking about spinning, but as I was making my latte this morning, like an idiot, I went to grab the mug that I was using to warm up my coffee in the microwave and did not realize that the handle was gonna be like molten lava. And so I picked up this mug and before it registered, cause I was not fully awake, I realized that my finger was um, burning. So that's fun. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for my little blister on my finger to pop up cause it definitely feels like there will be one. So I don't know how well that'll work with spinning, but um, maybe I can attempt some knitting, we'll see. Uh, but I did want to point out last night, I must have been out of it last night. <clears throat> I was in a state, um, I had been relaxing and sitting on the couch and just knitting in the nice quiet. I had Mrs. Maisel, Marvelous Miss Maisel going on in the background. Um, but my husband and kids were out doing some Christmas shopping. So I was like fully just in the zone. Just, it was just, it was so peaceful and so nice. And then they all walked in right at the same moment. They were all having conversations about different things at the same time. It went from zero to a thousand in like a half a second. And I was attempting to knit on my fly true and add on my second column. And I think the mixture of that piece being broken and all of the voices and all the hustle and bustle coming back in, um, plus me trying to concentrate on that pattern just like flew me, threw me for a loop. Because I mentioned last night that I thought I had knitted the whole first column incorrectly. Um, Turns out that's not the case. I just, again, need to read patterns better because as I was going to bed last night, I was laying there thinking because I was so frustrated and like, how could I have done this? Um, now I have to change up the whole pattern and make sure I remember what my modifications were for every column now. Um, but it clicked in my brain last night that there is a setup column then there is a column A, which is all the even columns, and a column B, which is the odd columns. For whatever reason, in my brain, I had mushed column, the setup column and column A together, thinking that column A was all of the odd columns. So, flip this around. This is what I modified last night, and I ripped this out so many times and restarted because I was just having the hardest time with my brain, um, but this is technically, so I had flipped this over to call it the wrong, the wrong side, the right side. That is not true, so pretend like the purple isn't there. Wait, no, this is there, okay. See, so confused. Mark your sides, people. I kept taking this off um, and then guessing as to which side was the right side. Um, so definitely mark your progress or your projects with right and wrong sides, um, especially with things like this. So this is the right side. It is also the setup column, which means this column I was knitting incorrectly. This needs to be column A and I was following directions for column B, thinking that this was A and this is B. This is A, this is setup, this is A, over here is B. So I'm going to rip this out again and start correctly and follow the pattern as I'm supposed to, in which case I will end up having the point down here. Yes, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, if I can't get this figured out and I get frustrated, well, then maybe I just have a really long skinny scarf. We'll see. Hey guys, so I am at work about to head in and I just wanted to pop on and say that um, I probably just made it sound like the fly true pattern was really difficult. It is not. Um, I am just having brain farts and I just wanted to reiterate how wonderful the pattern is and how easy it is, especially for beginners 
as long as you're reading and you're not assuming you know what's going on and you skip over important parts of the pattern like I did. So that was totally on me. That was my fault, my bad not the fault of the pattern um, but I will say that I added in correctly the second column and everything is looking good so far I didn't get any footage of it before I left home uh, but I will definitely pop in and share that with you guys after I get home from the office this evening so yeah I just wanted to reiterate that fly true by uh, skinanigans or Melissa Alexander Loomis is a great pattern um, and it's a very beginner friendly um, I just had a momentary lapse of ego and assumed that I was smarter and knew what was happening and in fact I did not. So uh, anyway, I'm heading in to work and I will chat with you guys later. Hey guys, home from work. Um, it's about six o'clock on Thursday. Um, yes, I'm home. I have some happy mail that I'm about to open and um, some footage that I forgot to include in yesterday's Vlogmas, so I'll toss that in. Um, I will pop in a little bit of video here, but my secret Santa today, for those that are curious, my secret Santa from work um, had a package waiting for me on my desk this morning when I got in, and I opened it up to find a coffee mug that says, too legit to knit on it, and it's adorable, and I love it. Um, I will say, you guys may spot it. Um, I definitely did, but I could tell my Secret Santa is not a fiber maker. Um, so you'll see what I mean. You'll probably catch it, but um, the thought was there. I love it. Um, I love it anyhow. So um, yeah, like I said, I will have popped in some video and I'm going to open up this mail that I've been so excited to get. Um, and then I will chat with you guys a bit more. Woohoo! More long dog yarn! So I had asked Brandy um, if she had any of the gingerbread and golden glow on singles because I thought that they would go great with the December 2019 color of the month. Um, frosted window pane I also couldn't resist so I tossed that in but she was gracious enough to dye up these skeins for me on her single fly base. So here they are. I will take them out of the bag so you can see them in all their glory. But oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I think it's so funny because I'm fairly certain I watched her package this on her Vlogmas. And I told my husband, I was like, I think that one's mine. I'm so excited. Um, so yes, so excited it's here. Here we have frosted window pane. And I'm sorry for the lighting in here. It's very yellow because the sun has gone down and it is like it's midnight outside even though it's 6 p.m. Really pretty colors in there. It's just a really great neutral that'll go with a lot of things. This is the December 2019 colorway. And I could not resist it when I saw the photo and I think I saw her dyeing it or I saw some of her skeins on her Vlogmas and knew I had to have it. Um, and then I asked her which color it would go best with if I wanted to pair it and then I said, you know what, just give me one of each and now I can make a three color shawl or something. So this is gingerbread. Just this really beautiful golden brown. And then this is golden glow, which is exactly that. So the speckles in here are gonna pick up both of these colors and they look fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So excited to have these. I love Brandy's yarn.
Okay, so I am loving this little thing. Before I had really nothing that I was able to measure my wraps per inch while spinning. I was just kind of eyeballing things and guesstimating. Um, but this is super neat. So this is gonna be really difficult to do one-handed. Um, but essentially what you do is as you're spinning, you line up your fiber with these little slots in here and wherever it fits, that is the way you are spinning. So right now I'm currently at a 45, which is anything over a 20 is lace weight, which would mean that if I double it up on itself here, um, if I am doing a two ply yarn, then that will be a, gosh, that's probably a light fingering. Struggle bus with one hand. Do, 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 do. Okay, well. Yeah, okay. So here you would just line it up with whatever slot fits closest. Um, and it does look like it's about a 20 right now. Um, obviously I would do this much nicer using two hands, which means I that is currently a lace weight. Um, which is really tiny for what I had intended. So that means that I will be spinning a little bit thicker to get closer to a fingering weight. Those of you that may have or be thinking about getting a electric eel wheel nano, this is a, you can see an electric wheel um, so that there is no treadling, you just turn it on. Um, this is by dreamingrobots.com. I just wanted to note here, um, just a little tip that I have. It comes with this um, elastic cording for the tension. And, oops, I lost it. It just has a tiny little knot on the ends. Um, and obviously sometimes you need more tension. So I have just tied a second knot there to tighten up the tension just a little bit. I have seen where people add beads in between um, or add beads with knots in between so then they can um, determine their tension by hooking the bead under this little notch right here. I'm not left-handed and this is really difficult. But yeah, I have just found that just a knot so far has been working just fine. So I just wanted to mention that um, this thing is about $100, I think, um, right around $100. So it is a very good price point as far as spinning wheels go. However, because it is on the lower price point, there are some things that you'll want to do to it to kind of customize it to fit your liking. Um, as you can see, I've placed these little rubber feet on here. It did come with holes where you could slide those in. Um, these I just got from Walmart in the like the picture hanging department. Um, they had little hooks on them so you could you know stick them to a window or wherever a mirror I guess um, and hang stuff from them. But they took the hooks off and they slid in those little holes perfect. Um, so I can suction cup it to the table because it is pretty lightweight. So as you're um, drafting, it does tend to scooch a little bit. Um, so I stuck those feet on there. And I think those are the only modifications I've made so far. You can see there that I have already tied a knot on this side as well, apparently. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's a great little wheel. I'm really loving it. Um, it's just, I love being able to sit here at the kitchen table, um, or take it with me. It's very portable. So I am a major fan.